The end of AIDS will come when there is a formidable galvanizing of the international community to concentrate single-mindedly, tenaciously, indefatigably on rolling out treatment community by community, on the ground, at the grassroots, country by country. And what is lacking is the political predisposition to get it done. What, what is lacking is the, is the inability to move from these endless discussions of the obvious, of what we know works, and get it implemented. It drives me crazy because I've spent enough of my life in the multilateral system, in the United Nations system, to know that if the agencies really took it seriously and use the pressure, the formidable pressure they have with governments, and if the donor governments provide the additional resources which were required, plus the generating of indigenous resources from the countries themselves, we could turn this thing around relatively quickly. It's ghastly how many lives we're still losing unnecessarily. Treatment as prevention is the vehicle. I mean, there is no other vehicle at the moment. I'm glad to think of the cure, and I'll spend as much time as anybody else fighting for a vaccine or for a microbicide. But the vehicle we have is treatment as prevention, and we know it works. I listened to all of the presentations at this conference, and they're thoughtful, and they're researched, and they are made of profound scientific acumen. But they should not get in the way of instituting the treatment as prevention that we know what works. Of course we can refine it. We're not out to damage human life. But we know that we have the, the means to turn this virus on its head. I believe in the struggle for social justice and above all for gender equality. And there's nothing that does more damage to gender equality in this world than HIV and AIDS and our refusal to recognize that this is a women's issue to which we have not responded. That's a large part of the problem. But if we can get past that and we see this vast array of humankind unnecessarily suffering, that you could stop it. Why in God's name wouldn't you throw your life into it? I'm 75 years old for heaven's sake. I got a lot more behind me than I have ahead of me. But with whatever is ahead of me, I'm going to work with a fellow like Julio Montaner in order to get it done.